everyone. For today's project I have a very funny and unshaped piece of applewood. A lot of knots, branches and everything. <laughs> but I suppose it looks very very odd. And from this I will try to make a vase if it will be possible. As you see a lot of cracks on every branch side. So without resin it will not be possible. I suppose the wood inside is a little bit punky. It's, the structure is pretty soft here, here and here where the uh, branches were. Uh, and, but this place also is very nice. So it should give me a good shine on it. And from this piece I will try to make a vase with a resin. I don't know what kind of color I will, cho I will choose. At first I will make a cylinder, something like cylinder, <laughs> to make a mold and uh, pour the resin. Few layers, few, few pours of the resin I suppose I will have to make because to, to, to avoid, uh, avoid uh, bubbles, air bubbles. So let's go to the lathe, start shaping it and let's find out how the wood looks inside. And okay, here I have a blank to pour in resin. Looks not bad, pretty nice. Not too much cracks. Uh, Why during turning I have seen some spalted places, but I remove it. So my loss. <laughs> but I hope it will be looking after whole turning. It will be very nice. So time to take, the, I suppose, a sticky tape or something that I don't know, cellophane foil. I don't know how to, how to seal it. So let's go to the home and seal the, pour the resin. Okay, and as you see, I have a ready blank, pour it with resin. I choose the gold, pearl gold uh, pigment. And I think it will be looking very nice. The color, the whole contrast of the colors will not be so sharp. And it will be good contrasting the wood with uh, resin. I suppose we will see this on the end of the video. Now I will clean it up the side and make a bottom, make a, I don't know, maybe mortise, maybe tenon. I don't know now. We will see what the shape will be. And then I will uh, change the sides clean it up this the front of the vase uh, make a curving shape and hollow it inside drill using with a 
drill bits and some uh, carbide tools. So let's start cleaning up the blank. Okay, the shape will be looking like that. <coughs> I have some cracks here, but I will use those shavings and fill them with CA glue. But at first I will seal the wood with a shellac to protect the wood and not leave uh, marks after the glue. And then I will refill this with uh, shavings and see a glue then i will start hollowing the vase
Okay, and the base is hollowed. I will take the lamp and show you closer. I hope you see this. This is, it looks not bad, but it's not so deep as I plan it. It's, it has only this uh, deep, <laughs> I don't know is this correct wood, uh, word for it, to this place. So I have maybe seven, seven centimeters to the bottom, total bottom of the vase. I could remove maybe three or four centimeters of wood inside of the vase, but I have no longer tools to make it. It looks not bad, it's ready for sanding. Now I will send this and finish it. Uh, for me it looks very nice. And I have finished sanding, ready for polishing and f applying finishers. I will start from axe pastes and then I will see how it will be looking maybe on the end. I will apply a shellac because the apple wood likes soaking everything what is applied on the wood and for sure the axe paste will be soaked Okay, pretty nice. Now I will wait a few minutes till it dried. Whole paste will be soaked. And should I use shellac or not? Maybe I will take a obi shine juice. It's with a oil, linseed oil, and. Uh, shellac because the clear shellac would left a marks on the resin in not soaking into the resin so i will be able to remove the shellac from the resin pretty fast and it should left pretty nice shine so let it dry a few minutes and i'm coming back
Okay, let it dry a few minutes. Then I will flip it somehow and remove the bottom from the vase, clean it up, put my logo and it will be done.